old thinking patterns, old sad patterns, thinking in lack, season changing. When we see the season changing, when it's, it's, when it's turning to fall, when it's turning to winter from summer, especially for those of us that live in, you know, the uh, you know, different season climates. Um, here in Maine, you know, it's getting fall right now. Um, I know a lot of us, I used to deal with it too. Um, I used to, when I used to deal with depression, and the seasons would change. I would, when I used to suffer from depression, it would bring up past emotions, past experiences, and thoughts of depression. And I'd feel depressed and I'd start feeling bad for myself and being angry and stuff. The quicker we can get out of our own heads, and the quicker we can, you know, stop feeling bad for ourselves and feeling in lack and uh, get out of our own heads, the quicker we're going to be happier and more successful in life, right? And that's the whole key is being able to get out of our own heads. Um, that's why this all, you know, this mindfulness meditation stuff is becoming real big right now on the internet because it's the new way of being able to get out of our, your heads and be able to accomplish things that you normally never would have been able to accomplish because of, uh, and, and including myself because of being stuck up in our heads, okay? And as soon as we're able to learn to stop being stuck up in our heads, that's when the real growth and the real, you know, the real uh, conquest happens of our lives when we're able to get out of our own heads, okay? Because a lot of people, you know, I know I was stubborn at first too, don't realize that what you're thinking about is what's gonna happen and become. But when we're able to chill, like be more mind aware of what we're thinking about and our, you know, our, and, and lower our mind frequencies, you know, it's a, it's a fact, it's a scientific fact that we all are, all have frequencies. Everything in life does, you know, even water. Um, it, it, just, it we just all are connected. So when we're able to lower our frequencies and not have a be thinking, having our mind racing, and this and that, that's when creativity. And, and love and abundance happens, right? You don't find the love of your life when you're miserable, right? Um, it's, it's when it happens, is when we're able to slow down our minds, slow down our frequencies, even our animals. I got my dog over there, they feel it when we we're upset or when we we're chill, you know, and uh, they, they feel that. It's like, but now I don't let myself get upset because I'm more aware now of, because of studying the laws of attraction and studying the human mind and how we think. And uh, our, you know, program minds from when we were young um, are on auto program. And until we learn to start becoming more aware of our thoughts, we are still on auto program. So when fall comes up in winter, we're auto programmed to feel kind of like our past emotions when we felt depressed in the like the fall and the winter time. They come back, right? And we we want something to in. And, and our past emotions and, and, and feelings turn into our experience and we start experiencing sadness because of what we're thinking about. We're thinking in lack. We're thinking, oh, it's cold, it's snow, I'm going to have to go through the long winter again, this and that. But no, you want, you want to do is concentrate on is goals, the things you love in life, you know, stuff like that. Not it, The worst thing we can do is think about is our past experiences, okay? You, you know, and let you know, you know, unless they're friggin' really wonderful, right? I mean, we want to stay out of the past. Even yesterday, leave yesterday yet in the past, right? When someone cuts you off on the highway, just walk away, drive away. It's what I do now. I used to be a road rage person that would freak out, uh, and I'd get mad every time, right? I don't do that anymore. I I drive the other way and I walk the other way from confrontation because I know. It's going to lead me down a bad path, and it's going to lead me to being upset and ruin my day, and it's going to bring on anxiety and depression. And um, if you're sitting around feeling depressed, um, if you really think about it, it's because you're thinking you are depressed, and you're thinking about depressing things, right? The biggest thing is putting goals on paper, putting things you're grateful for on paper. When you start writing down what you're grateful for, right, roof over your head, clothes right your car your loved ones food right your you know health right not getting pulled over when a cop could have pulled you up you know for speeding 
whatever it may be, there's so many things to feel abundant about in life if you really apply your mind to it, right? All we need to do is start becoming more aware of our thoughts. As soon as you start getting negative thoughts in your mind, be able to try to be aware of them and let them drop out of your mind. Just stop thinking about them. Let it go. I run into people, like I say all the time, on a daily basis that are stuck in such a bad mood, right? They just are. They're stuck in a bad mood. I really feel for them because they don't know how to get out of it. But this is what that's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Because all it does, all you got to do is practice manifesting mindfulness, right? Practice and being in peace, okay? I highly recommend meditation, okay? I really do. Um, whether it's uh, turning the music off in your car and letting you, if you're able to set your brain or, or listening to a meditation music, which I'm going to put up on my site, I highly recommend it. It will change your life, okay? Um, meditation is such a big thing now that's coming into our society and across the world, okay? These, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, Western civilization, we're the last civilization to be picking up on it, right? The rest of the world has been doing this, and they're more happier than we are, okay? Because of meditation and being more mindful, being more aware of our thoughts, okay? We, simply, we, we get caught up in our own minds. We have a hard time getting out of it. And it's really important to be more aware of our thoughts and be, trying to be more conscious in the moment, right? Being present. Like me right now, I'm here, right? I'm talking to you. I am here in the moment. I am not somewhere else mad about someone cutting me off the traffic, right? I'm right here trying to help doing something that I enjoy that brings me, you know, it's a passion of mine that brings me joy. And that's what brings happiness, right? Um, may not be a beautiful day, but when we find hobbies and things that make us happy, and that changes our whole lives. And I mean, ne never underestimate either the exercise, joining a gym stuff in the wintertime, you know, it helps with happiness. But being active is the biggest thing. If we're sitting around feeling depressed, most of the time it's because we're sitting around. Okay, I used to do it all the time. You know, it's now you know, you know, I, so I'm not pointing, you know, no blame on anybody. I'm the, I do the same thing. But it's all about being able to get out of our heads and be able to start, start thinking positive. Take the good with the bad, right? And what I'm always saying to people that I'm around now with, you know, let it go. You know, it's not worth it. Let it go. You know, love, not hate, you know. It's such a more beautiful world. Uh, please subscribe. Um, anybody have any problems, feel free to give me a uh, write to me. I love the feedback. Take it easy. Bye.